Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how to install the a new auto LED door sills. Um, I did the unboxing uh, about a week or so ago. Now what you're gonna need is you are going to need a thing of zip ties, rubbing alcohol, paper towel, wire strippers, extra wire, and probably a box cutter. So what you're going to do now is you are going to lift up this right here. Now you're not going to have this right here because I have already installed them. So I'm just going to show you how I did it and then I'm also going to show you how to do the other side. So when you lift this up, it just clips, pulls right off. And then you are left with all this wiring. Uh, I'm actually going to remove this as well. Just pull it right off. You got to pull this lever to get it off easier. And what you're left with is you have your wires down here. You are going to find, take your test light that they send with you. Take this and you're going to find power up under here. I found my power up under here. I'll show you guys that in a second, but there is a black box under there that you're going to tie in power to. So I'm actually going to show you that right now. Okay, so to install the wire, it's actually quite simple. So down here, there is a black box. Mine was easy to take off because I just pulled it off, but yours won't be that easy, more than likely. So, right up in here, you see these two wires? Right here, right above the green one? It's like a, a maroon, brown. Well, that wire right here is where I actually installed it and then I ran my own wire that goes all the way around and down right here now for you guys to find out what wire it is for you it's actually very simple you take your test light and any of these ports you touch barrack metal with it and then you're just going to find a piece of frame like this right here Let's see if you can see it better this frame right here you're going to touch the alligator clip to that and then whenever you make contact and it makes power you're going to push your dome light on and off and to do that that is going to find your door light so once you've done that i ran the wire for all the way from there using the connector that they gave us ran it all the way down to here it's the same wire and this is a very bad butt connection but they actually give you these right here installed in the package. So I stripped down the little black part right there, just like this. Take a black connector is what I actually used. I used the pink ones right there, top left. And then I use the heat gun to do this. Now for the black wire, I took off this panel right here. And now to do that, you have two screws, a screw there, a screw there. And there was a bolt right here that has to come off as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and be right back with you. Now, once you have this panel off, 
I actually have a air horn connected to this. So I just, I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect that. Now I do have a trailer brake hooked up to as well. That's why it's hanging. But to run my ground, what I did was this. Connected the wire right here. And I ran it all the way down, fished it through here, down that same kick panel that I showed you just a moment ago, right here. Then I ran it right to this wire, like I just showed you guys. Now you can find a ground anywhere, anywhere that has that kind of rusty look, the rusty frame look. That's where you guys want to actually put it. You can find any bolt anywhere on your car, your truck, wherever, and you could actually mount it that way. But I'm actually going to go ahead and make a second ground because I am going to ground my other LED door sills. So I actually have a pair of these and you will as well, they come in pairs. So to do that is you take your wire, you strip it. And then I have connectors right here. Little 10 amp one, you should not mean need any more than that. You're gonna put it in there. These are your, these are like a self, a self making terminal connector. I like these a lot because they're just, they're really customizable. You can put more than one wire in here and they're just very easy to work with. Now everybody has their own preference. Everybody has their own way of doing this. This is just my Suggestion. Suggestion. Now, what I'm going to do with this, is I'm going to hook it up to that wire. And then I am going to take these two connectors that also came with it. And I'm going to run a red and a black wire to that side of the truck. I'm going to run it all the way underneath. And that is so I can get power and a ground to that side of the truck for these door sills. Now, the other thing you can do is this. You can sit here and there's wires underneath here. You can actually take your tester that I have right here. You can mount it right here on your door. That's a great ground. And you can sit here and you can poke all these wires. And as you're poking them, going to want to touch this button your dome on and your dome off now what that controls is your doors don't turn your domes on like this don't do that because that will give it a false positive because that is basically a switch you want to make sure that the power is coming from these so I'm gonna go ahead and get these wired up and I'll be right back with you. So now that I got everything put back together, what you're going to do now is take this connector and on the same line that you ran from all the way back there, the same exact line, you're going to put this blue one then you're going to put this red piece, more wire, in right there. There's a stop right here, so the wire can only go in so far. And then you're going to take pliers, I'm using my crimpers right now, and you're going to just take that metal and smash in both wires.
and then you close it. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take the spool of wire and I'm going to run it all the way over to that side of my truck and get it wired and I'll see you over there. So, sorry about that. Once you get the black wires together, One more connection. Again, do not smash these. Okay. Reason why I have extra wire right here and I'm making this connection is because I am going to be getting back doors ones as well. So this is basically just gonna take the power and separate it. So I'm gonna run these back towards the back. Now you can take your heat gun. Now when you're done with this, make sure you don't put it anywhere that you're going to touch it or you're going to burn something with. So now you can take your kick panel and you can actually install this back on because it is no longer needed now. And do that to do that is very simple. snaps right back into place. So now, what I'm going to do is just, I'm just gonna tuck these right here. because I do not need them right now. Because I actually do not have the back ones yet. So these wires are useless to me until that point. Just tuck all these wires in, make them look nice. You'll probably never see these again. But if you ever sell your vehicle, somebody is going to see it again. So, now what you want to do is take your actual door sill itself. Take this wire that you just connected. You're going to plug her in. Make sure you hear the snap. Take your sill, and then tuck this wire in, because you do not need it all, 
Now I had it measured up so it would be on these ripples right here. So you're still gonna see these wires. So just kind of just make them look good. If I had them on right. Make sure you put your trim back on the right way. Once you have all of your trim properly put back in its place, you're going to take some rubbing alcohol. And stick it exactly in the spot where you told them you wanted it because they measured these exactly to your specifications. Now let's go down it, apply pressure evenly. And you are going to take off the white protective band. And there you go. That is a successfully installed a new auto. I'm going to get the other side cleaned up and I'm also going to show you one more time how to put those sills back on and how to properly do it. Okay guys, so now I got all my trim on but this last piece. Mine's already connected. Like I said, I've already had these installed before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug these in. And just like I showed you over there, you want to get this wire somewhat out of the way. Now, if you don't like how these wires are just chilling up there, you actually can drill a hole through your sill, and you can do it that way, and the wires will not be visible at all. But to test this, try dome lights, and bam. And that's how you do it right there. Dome lights are on. One over there is working as well. Pretty freaking cool. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you the finished product now. I want to thank the new auto 